exciting day, especially for Honey Pie Pony. <laughs> you see, Honey is going on a trip to... To Marshmallow Marsh. It's a fabulous place. A fantabulous place. Maybe I'll let Honey tell you. What an adventure this will be. Have any of you been to Marshmallow Marsh? No, but... I didn't think so. You see, it's a gooey marsh, very mallowy and sticky, and you must be ever so careful not to fall in. Huh? Is it a long way, honey? My, yes. It's all the way past Buried Barrier Reef, a hop, skip and jump over Floating Island... Floating Island? ...and just downwind of the giant banana split. I can't wait to get going. Have a cookie first. Well, maybe just one. <laughs> and some juice. Don't mind if I do. Huh? Goo? Thanks, Orange Blossom. Now I really should get going. Without cake? No. I certainly couldn't leave without cake. <laughs> Well, party, Strawberry. <sniffs> Thanks. We couldn't let you go without saying goodbye. And to show you my appreciation, I'm going to bring you all presents. Hooray! Let's see. Strawberry, I'll bring you a big bag of marshmallows. Great! Angel Cake, I'll get you some marshmallow cream. Thanks! Huck, toasted marshmallows for you. Oh, boy! Orange, orange marshmallows. <laughs> Ginger snap, chocolate dipped marshmallows. And for apple dumpling, miniature marshmallows, of course. Goody! You'll have such fun, honey. You're so lucky to be going on a great adventure. Yeah, I sure wish I were going with you. In time, Huck. It takes experience and a certain, I don't know what, to go on such a journey. First, I'll go to the Finger Sandwich Islands. Better take my boots. I could get wet jumping over peanut butter and jellyfish. <gasps> and quite squishy dodging vanilla creams. <gasps> I will climb up Gumdrop Mountain just this side of Root Beer Fountain. I will watch the sunset from the cream puff tree. Then I'll scale Mount Macaroni. Oh, I'm quite the clever pony. There's a whole world waiting out there just for me. Have a good trip. Start with a gentle trot, then give it all you've got. Have a good trip, have a good trip. Don't forget to write. Have a good trip. I will swim the ice cream river. Though it's cold, I will not shiver. I'll taste each gummy worm and jelly glen. I'll visit Pudding Haven, cause I am the Pudding Haven. There I'll try five kinds of ices, maybe ten. You'd better head to town before the sun goes down. Have a good, have a good trip. Have a good trip. Take lots of pics. Have a good trip. Have I told you about the donuts and the cookies?
cookies made with no nuts. Oh, nuts brother! Nuts grow on every bush on Cafe Lane. I'll arrive there on a Monday when they serve the famous Sunday with an extra cherry, cause I have a main. Have a good have a trip, have a good have a trip. Good trip. Good trip. now, don't hesitate. If not, you might be late. Have a good have a trip. Good trip. Have a legs hurts as much as mine hurts. Oh. Here, honey. I'll pour you some juice. How is that going to help my leg? It won't, but it might put you in a better mood. <clears throat> I have to get going. I'm supposed to be on my way to Marshmallow Marsh. Honey, you're going to have to stay off your leg for a few days. That's the only way it'll get better. A few days? But I already feel so... so... Cooped up? Exactly. What am I going to do here in Strawberry's house for so long? I got it! Look at the glass. Look at the glass? I can do that for a second, but days? No, honey. I'm trying to explain something to you. Look at the glass of juice. Does it look half empty to you or half full? If you ask me, it's half empty. Don't be silly. It's half full. Which is it? That's up to you. Huh? Don't you see? It's how you look at it. Sure, hurting your leg can be awful, but it doesn't have to be all bad. In fact, hurting your leg might be a good thing. How? You get to stay with all your friends and have fun. Have fun? With a hurt leg? <laughs> Come on, honey. We're going to do our very best to show you a good time. That's impossible. Cookie's coming at ya. I mean. Maybe if someone rubs my leg, it'll get better faster. I'll do it. Angel, you're doing it wrong. Sorry. How's this, honey? Too soft. Hmm. What about this? Too hard. Oh dear. Aha! Who, me? Hmm, <laughs> here. Thank you, Custard. Hmm. This should do it. No! It's too. in between. You know, honey, you're not being very cooperative. But I'm injured. We heard. And we're sorry. But you've got to try a little harder. What? You've got to be more patient. That includes being grateful to the people who are taking care of you. After all, Orange, Ginger, Huck, Angel, and I are trying our very best, and you don't seem to appreciate it. I appreciate it. I'd just appreciate it more if you would get me well. That's just what I'm talking about, honey. We can't help you if you don't help us. Instead of criticizing us all the time, you could tell us in a nice way what you need. Get it? Got it. 
Strawberry, maybe you should ice it again. I'll try. Brr! That ice is cold! This is going to be a lot harder than I thought. Any suggestions? Oh! Huck, this blanket you brought me is blue. I asked for a pink one. Okay, honey. Orange, this juice is freezing. I want it to be room temperature. I'm a pony, not a penguin. Yes, honey. Easy, easy. <sighs> How much longer do I have to put up with this? I wish I knew, honey. It's been days. Honey, it's been about an hour. Well, it seems like days. I don't know how much more of this I can stand. Oh. I don't know how much more of this we can stand. Honey's driving us crazy. And she's so bossy. Here's some cookies, honey. <laughs> Ginger Snap! These cookies are chocolate chip. I want chocolate chip with nuts. And not peanuts this time. Chestnuts. The walnuts aren't bad. I've had it, Strawberry. Me too. Hmm. Let's go. Wait. Please don't leave. But Honey doesn't appreciate us. And she's picking on us. We can't do anything to make her happy. Honey is only acting that way because she's bored. We need to help her have fun. How do we do that? She's eaten everything in the house. And she can't move, so we can't go outside and pick berries or jump rope. Wait a minute. I have an idea. Everyone loves magic tricks, right? Can you do magic, Huck? I've been practicing a little, but I know a magician who's really good. He's putting on a show near Huckleberry Briar. This is his last night there. I think I can catch him. Huck, I need a pillow. I better go right now. more to the middle. How long will it take that magician to get here? Come on, we don't have to wait for someone to entertain us. We don't? No, we can make our own fun. But Honey's idea of fun is running and traveling and having adventures. Come on, you can have lots of fun right here in my living room. How? Imagination lets you go on every sort of trip. You can be the captain of a giant pirate ship. Travel to the farthest stars, way past Venus, way past Mars. Catch galactic dust and charm. <laughs> That's imagination. You can find it everywhere. One's a mouse and one's a fox. That's imagination. You can find it everywhere. In your mind and in there. <laughs> a happy dream that you can share. That's imagination. Imagination makes the world a fascinating place. Write a story, beat a drum, or draw a funny face. That you cook every dress of fashion look That's imagination You can find it everywhere In your mind and in thin air Find a dream that you can that share, you can share. share. That's imagination Hey, let's paint face 
pieces on turnips. Or bake a gingerbread stable. Or squeeze oranges and lemons and see which makes juice faster. Or have a puppet show. Gee, it all sounds so good. What shall we do first? Anything but the puppet show or the turnip thing. And let's forget the juice race. Okay. ornaments out of oranges for anything. Oh dear, we'll have to come up with some other ideas. Honey pie? Hmm. How would you like to try on costumes? No, thank you. What about playing hide the horseshoe? Did it on the boat to figgy pudding. Let's repot flowers. I'd rather eat them. Of course, it's not that I haven't been bored before. I was bored once for a few seconds when I took a trip to Candy Apple Gorge. And I was ever so slightly bored for a minute after a hike up Tapioca Trail. Did I ever tell you the story about the time I climbed? Yes! What about the day I hopped over... Heard it! Did I mention the moment I decided... Over and over! It's a good story. What's your point? Let's do anything else. Fine, honey. Any ideas? I guess dancing is out of the question. Hmm. Hmm. Wait! I have an idea. A very good idea. Let me tell you about the year we had no rain in Strawberry Land. This is a true story. I love stories. I know you do, honey. That's what gave me the idea <laughs> to tell this story. Is it an adventure story? Definitely. Now, as you all know, we pick berries in late spring and summer. But that's only if there's plenty of rain first. And this particular year, there was none. Not even a drop. Terrible. You're right, Apple. It was terrible. <gasps> All the berry vines dried up. I couldn't imagine a summer without strawberries. <sighs> no strawberry tarts, no strawberry pies, no strawberry jam, no strawberry shortcake. What would be worse? I had to do something, and right away. So I decided to look for water. That means there's water here. No, it just means I'm sharpening my teeth. Oh dear, a gopher, no offense. Gee, if you want water, you should go to a magic creek. I've never heard of Magic Creek. Well, it's easy to find. Just go this way and that way, then follow your feet. I'll try. It's worth it, because once you're there, you'll find the most beautiful, magical, fantabulous creek you've ever seen. Here's 
a creek. It doesn't look very magical. It's chocolate. But what am I supposed to do with it? I wish... I wish this were a strawberry milkshake. Oh, my! <laughs> this had to be Magic Creek, which was wonderful, but it didn't solve my problem. If only this would turn into rain. Oh, dear. Even a magic creek has its limits. For rain, you need a cloud. How am I going to find a cloud? A cloud I can talk to, that is. Come along, I'll show you. Flight, I could see all of Strawberry Land from up there. Strawberry, let's go. Go where? There, jump. Are you sure? not used to people. Is there something I can do for you? Why, yes. You see, there hasn't been rain in Strawberry Land for a long time. You're telling me? And I'm wondering if you could just, you know... It's impossible. Impossible? Why? Because for a cloud to rain, it has to cry. And I never feel like crying. That's good. I mean, that's not so good. We need the rain. Otherwise, there won't be strawberries in Strawberry Land. But since I've been a cloud over Strawberry Land, I have no reason to cry. I'm just much too happy. Hmm, that is a problem. Do you think you could just pretend to be sad? Maybe then you'd feel like crying. No, that won't work. Oh dear, I know a way you could be happy and still make it rain. Just think joyful thoughts. That's no problem, but how's that going to make rain? Sometimes you can be so happy, you cry tears of joy. I guess I could try. See any tears? Not yet. How about now? Uh-uh, try thinking of all the things you have to be joyful about. Like? You're a cloud. You get to drift along in a big blue sky and talk to birds. Yes! Best of all, you make rain. And rain makes everything glow. Even more joyful than that! Tears. There are tears of joy, too. <laughs> and ever since then, we've always had plenty of rain in Strawberry Land. Wow. Tell another one. You really want to hear another story? Sure. It's just what I need. My leg is starting to feel better. That's because you weren't thinking about it. Besides, things always get better, didn't you know?
show. Puppet show? I told you, I don't like puppet shows. You don't? But they're so much fun! What don't you like about puppet shows? It's hard to say. Why? Well, I've never seen one. Well, if you did, I have a feeling it would be your very favorite thing. Okay, let's give it a whirl. I'm going to tell you a story about Orange Blossom Acres. It's about the time I planted a juice tree that will grow little pitchers of juice. There's no such thing as a juice tree. That's what I thought, but I wanted a juice tree a lot. It would have been easier than picking fruit and having to squeeze it to make juice. I mean, sometimes you have to squeeze, oof, and squeeze, oh, and you don't even get a single drop. Then one day, there it was, a tree that grew pitchers of fruit juice. Wow! What happened next? Wait, let me guess. You picked all the pitchers and threw them into a big... No, that's not it. You found a pitcher seed and planted it in... What? Unfortunately, it was only a dream, but it was the juiciest dream I ever had. Yum! <sighs> Finished his last show. I think he's an upper hat rack. But it'll take forever to get to upper hat rack. And my friends in Strawberry Land are waiting for a magic show. I don't want to disappoint them. Sorry. That's okay. I do know another magician. He doesn't have a lot of experience, but maybe he can do the trick. Good luck. Thanks. I'll need it. Now what do we do? Tell another one. I have one. Yay! Well, what are you waiting for, Ginger? When are you going to tell it? As soon as you stop talking. Oh! <laughs> A while back in Cookie Corner, something terrible happened. Huh? I was out of chocolate chips. Oh no, that's my last bag. Sure, I could still make sugar cookies and peanut butters and spritzels and macaroons. But face it, a cookie without chocolate chips is like a face without a smile. I went all the way to Chocolate Town. No one seemed to be around. Hello! So I sat down on a chocolate truffle to think. Hmm. Mmm. What are you doing? I couldn't resist. You can't just go and eat all our furniture. I'm sorry. I love chocolate. Especially when I'm upset. And right now, I'm very upset. So upset I could eat a couch and a dining room table. Hmm, what's your problem? 
I'm all out of chocolate chips to bake cookies. Do you know where I can find some? Chocolate chips? You can't get those around here. But the bunny told me where I could go. There. <sighs> it was a rainbow. And at the end of it, a pot of gold. Oh, my! <laughs> but it's only gold at the end of the rainbow. Unless I can exchange it for chocolate chips, what do I need it for? Silly girl, look closer. Hmm. It's a chocolate coin. What did you expect in Chocolate Town? Take as many as you like and chop those into chips. Thanks. run out of chocolate chips. That was a sweet story, Ginger. Yes, but it's getting late. Apple, it's time for you to go to bed. New story, new story. Well... Come on, Strawberry, please. I've already told a story. It must be someone else's turn. Who'd like to hear about my very first birthday cake? Me! I was finally ready to write happy birthday in colored frosting when... Out came white. I used up all my colors. How was I going to decorate the cake in time for the party? And then I had an idea. Why not pick rose petals for pink, blueberries for blue, and grass for green? I mixed each one in a bowl of frosting. But something was wrong. It was crunchy. What did you do? Tell us! I walked. And walked. But I didn't see colors anywhere. And then I arrived in Sponge Cake Forest, where sponge cake grows on every tree. I 
was so hungry by then, I had to have a piece. And from then on, I always knew where to get food coloring for my cakes. I tell one. <laughs> oh, I don't know about that. I've seen many other gorgeous forests. Forests of redwoods, of pines, and s'mores. What do you mean? Did I ever mention that I scattered seeds in Sunflower City? My seed scattering went so well, the sunflowers sprouted all the way up to the clouds. You had to climb a tall ladder just to get a whiff of them. Would anyone like some juice? Fruit juice. Yummy. And then there was the time that I opened for the Olympic jumpers. You just told us that story. Huh? Oh, hi. What are you doing out here? I, um... Well, I couldn't get the magician for the magic show. I let everybody down. No, you didn't. We've all been having lots of fun. Really? Sure. And Honey has become a very patient patient. Honey? Now that's magic. Come in and see. Hey, everyone. Look who's here. Hack! I couldn't get the magician. That's okay. We've been entertaining each other. Would you like to do something, Huck? Well, I have been practicing a couple of tricks, but I'm not very good yet. I bet you're just great. Show us your tricks! Trick. Yes, show us! Okay. Pick a card. Any card. Let me. Your card is a seven of clubs. No. Oh, then it's a nine of hearts. Uh-uh. Is it a six of diamonds? Sorry. I told you I wasn't very good. Don't be silly, Huck. Everybody makes mistakes when they're learning. Try another one. I don't know. Please, Please Huck? Huck? New twick, new twick. Okay, I'll try another one. Does anybody have a hat? I do, I do. Abracadabra, presto, change -o. Wabbit, bunny wabbit. Wow, how did you do that? It's magic. That was wonderful, huh? Amazing. Incredible. Wow. This is great. I get to be a magician instead of just bringing one. This is so much fun! Yay! Wow! My leg is fine! Thanks, everyone, for taking such excellent care of me. here and we have so much fun together that's what I call saying a glass half I mean completely full <laughs> There are two sides to everything, they're opposites you see. One is up and one is down, quite different ways to be. I used to be the one who's down, but then I learned the news. There always is a brighter side and that's the side to choose. to it. 
everything the opposite you see. One is glum and one is glad, quite different ways to be. I used to be the one whose glum each minute dragged on by. But then I learned to plan my day with things that made time fly. Love is all how you look at it, all how you look at it. Bingo! 